It's Power 106, LA's number one yeah. for hip hop. Yeah. We have it's a brown bag, and we got our <laughs> homie G Perico in the house. G yeah. Perico! What's going on? Bro, you came in here like sunshine. Good morning to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You came in here like, why everybody all quiet and stressed out for? <laughs> <laughs> why y'all looking all stupid for? I'm like, damn. Hey, G, before you came here, we're having a debate, okay? Okay. Uh, it's a 21 year anniversary of 8 Mile. What? By movie, right? We're playing a clip. Play, play a little bit of the of the battle clip. Come on. Now everybody come to three one three. Hey. Put your hands up and follow me. Everybody come to three one three. Put your hands up and follow me. Everybody come to three one three. Put your hands up. Look, look. Now while he stands tough, notice that this man did not have his hands up. Oh. Vibes. Oh, that battle scene, all the battle scenes, a lot of the scenes. Period. In 8 Mile, iconic. Yeah. So nice. we're asking, is 8 Mile the best hip-hop biopic? Uh, which is a hip-hop movie based on, like, an actual life of an artist. Uh, the other option and the other, like, contender is Straight Outta Compton, right? Yeah, Straight Outta Compton. Straight Outta Compton. Yeah. <laughs> More <laughs> iconic. Takes the cake, yeah. All right, let's play. I mean, I never watched 8 Mile, though. You, you never G -Pre watched Eight nah, Mile? I never watched so right now what? when we play it, you're like, all right, that's cool. I know Shook One's part two, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like the beat. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about Get Rich or Die Trying? Bro. Get Rich or Die Trying, Fire. Yeah, it's for, yeah, I think it's like picks like that is kind of difficult after somebody is like rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. yeah. And then by us kind of like wow. okay, feeling okay, okay. a little bit of it, mm -hmm. like seeing them a little bit, or just like the after effect of them being so close is like. I uh, think y'all hitting on it now. Yeah. yeah. yeah and I, I think like like 8 Mile had Eminem in it. Eminem's still with us. You know, most yeah. of the crew from NWA is still with us for Straight Outta Compton. That exactly. allows us to have more fun with it than like something so heavy like a All Eyes On Me for Pog right. or like a Notorious, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. when yeah. Notorious came out, there were so many people saying like, that's not how it happened. This happened this way. Yeah. And it's like, that's always going to happen because people always have different perspectives. Yeah. On yeah. And then you got to dramatize like certain parts to make yeah. it a little more interesting. Yeah, the dramatization stuff is crazy. To change That's the, best the names part. to protect the yeah. guilty. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about movies? I'm hearing things. Yeah, no movie doubt. star. Movie star. I you... didn't I didn't I didn't coin that moniker for nothing. Come so, on. Yeah, we working on a um few movies. We just we just start casting for uh the Hot Shot Two movie. So Hot Shot Hot Two Shot. coming with a short film. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Is drama gonna be part of it? Most likely, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's tight. That's fire. Oh, what it, what is it? Like, the man behind the camera. Come yeah. on. Is, is this going to be like a uh, biographical or is it going to be more just like a random, like just a story you're Ooh. telling? Um, Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely traces of uh, uh, my real life. Yeah. Mm. For sure. Yeah. Wow. That add to it. That's so tight. But dramatized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To protect the guilty. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes I think about it because I was thinking like a movie like Rocky, right? Yeah. Uh, Sylvester Stallone wrote it because no one would give him a part. No one would give him a part as an actor. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to write this movie. And, and Rocky is classic. You know, yeah. sometimes you got to take it into your own hands. And that's what you've been doing. Yeah. Like, that's what G Preco has been doing with your music, with your career. And it's like, look, I can take this on. Like, I can forget wishing someone can make the films that I want or representation. I'm going to yeah. do it. Why not? Yeah, that's definitely the goal with mm -hmm. the film. So we got we got a few other lined up. So. Like the same way I drop music, we're gonna be dropping That's movies tight. for 2024. Mm. Let's talk and about to show my acting chops. Come on, oh. where do you think you're best in act? Like, are you like more like of a like a romantic actor? Are you like good like a I don't know comedic actor? Um, physical comedy or what? I'm like a uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey yo. I'm like that. I would say I'm a uh, a method. I'm more method like a method actor, actor so I'll be able to dive into any character. But like right now, we yeah. doing like stuff that's like uh, what yes. you would, you know, what yeah, you would yeah. expect from me. More like yeah. street lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Vic, yeah, yeah, Vic makes a great like, like when like he knows how to make a girl feel like she, she's in love. There, he's in love with her. Mm. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and I mean, sometimes yeah. I'm like, do you ever like trip up like when you're telling her like she's the one and the only one? Do you know, like you're acting like you know, like that's not true, but like you're owning it. You know. I mean, he may be feeling like that at the at time. time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's all about getting into the character. Yeah, I might be yeah. a method actor myself. Look at you. You know what I'm saying? Your act, your character <laughs> is faithful. Yeah. That's I play the part. <laughs> yeah, he might feel like that at the time. You know, I'm a lover boy myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, lover definitely. boys. Yeah. 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 
for sure. sure. All right, G Preco, I do want to talk to you about music because not only have you just dropped a project, you have projects on deck. It seems like you don't run out of material and the ability to put it on paper or on a, on a track. We always hear of like a like writer's block or like yeah. I couldn't, I had to sit back and like live life and feel it. It seems like you're very like, nah, this is coming to me. This is flowing. Yeah, for sure. Talk to me about just that part because legit, we've had like seven projects from you this year alone. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> you're attacking us with projects. Um, <laughs> Like it was a time when I felt like I had a block and mm -hmm. that's when I was signed and everything uh, was feeling like a job. Damn. Yeah. And it was like, I wasn't being myself. I wasn't being like truthful because yeah. it was like, we need the single, we need the big hit. So mm -hmm. it just took me out of my essence. And then I had a conversation with Rance and he like, bro, the only reason that artists or anybody got writer's block is when they not being truthful. Come mm -hmm. on. So it's like, I just, you know, stick to what's, what I feel, what's coming from my heart, my soul, what I see. Yeah. yeah. What it smell like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what summer was like. LA Summer 3 just dropped. And I got to talk to you about a song specific. Extended Summer's on the way. Come on. Hey. About memories. Because when I heard a song like Memories, I'm like, damn, we all can take that, like, that, that look back in time, the people that were around, even, like, just those memories, right? Yeah. It's getting into the holidays, that reflection and all of that is coming around. You're, like, missing people that you didn't, like, all of that hits. Yeah. Talk to me about putting that song in particular on the project. Um, I mean, I... I Lately, I've been doing a lot of reminiscing and thinking about people mm -hmm. because, you know, I lost a lot of people. And um, and then there's just a lot of things going on. So, like, at nighttime, I just get to thinking about my granny or Coleon, rest mm -hmm. in peace. So it just been heavy on my heart and my yeah. mind, so I had to get it out. Yeah. yeah. I, I like know, the, I know, the, the, oh, go ahead. No, oh, I know this year, I mean, you know, I know you personally, and I know this year has been a, a tough year for you with, with you know, life and, and things happening. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you still continue to, like, put these projects mm -hmm. out and, and give us like you always have obviously like the street the lifestyle the right you know the hood stuff but you always talk like yeah. you, yeah, you yeah, always yeah. that introspect there's stuff there's, there i think people wow. like i think people missing that like, yeah they yeah. do yeah. that's going past people but when they tune in and catch up they're gonna be like yeah it's li it was life there bars the whole time, yep. yeah. like i like what you said on shout out you said thought i was smart and still learn the hard way for sure and just talk to me about that. Like, was it a specific situation or just like when you bump your head, when you thought you were done bumping your head? Yeah, you know, when you coming up in the streets and you young mm -hmm. and it's people giving you information and guidance that's correct. Yeah. Um, You're like, man, I already know. I know. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. I got to figure it out. You know what I mean? And the jailhouse is full of smart dummies. And yeah. mm -hmm. I was one of them. So learning the hard way, bumping my head in and out of jail, prison. You know what I mean? And then I just had to take heed of like all the valuable information I was getting, you know what I mean? And listening to myself too. Every time I, yeah. I, when I like listen to your music, I can't have, to, like I have to keep myself from my phone and I don't, but from like tweeting things that you say, cause I yeah. feel so, like I feel <laughs> yeah, so lost. Like, yeah, like if you don't believe in the vision, what you around for? Like yeah. really, what you around yeah. for? You don't believe in this. Yeah. But like, I'm sure like you're like, dude, this is, this is me. This is a caption. Let me write it. Like, <laughs> yeah. how is that? Like, cause you give those, those I, I guess they're quotables. quotables you yeah. give yeah. those bars that are like, go ahead and say it. Go go ahead and sub someone right now by yeah. posting it or like put on your IG caption. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's the goal with the music mm -hmm. to just say stuff that resonate with yep. people in their mind and their heart and something that they could say back or say to somebody in a conversation, whether it's like, you know, good or bad. Like if you like getting back at somebody, yep. how, what you around for? If you yeah. don't believe in it, come you know on. What I'm yeah. So you know, nah, facts. You shut them yeah. up. So many different ways. November 17th at the Novo. The November show is going Sheesh. down. Yeah. All right. This is so dope to me because we were just talking about Friendsgiving. I'm like, that's his Friendsgiving. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's going to be a party. I yeah, just it's thought before, about that. It's before <laughs> Thanksgiving, guys. See? Got you. Yeah. Before Thanksgiving with the people you actually want to be around? Yeah. Friendsgiving vibes. For sure. Come on. Talk yeah. to us about the Novo because I know that you've been setting up to do this show. This is for G Preco to just celebrate Los Angeles, celebrate everything you've been through. Like Maximo said, the year that we've had the year that you've had yeah and it's gonna come november 17th yeah it's been a real like transitional year like mm -hmm. and it, and i learned a lot felt a lot experienced a lot and um and this is basically the uh grand finale of 2023 oh, yeah. and then we going into the 
to the movies, the music, the clothing, mm. the lifestyle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just feel good. You know what I mean? We turning, we turning all the way back up. You know what I mean? That's super fire. I think it's super appropriate too for like the Novo, because I remember like your story, like in LA rap, kind of started from. Oh, he was that guy that got shot at, and he performed at the Rock. <laughs> you know, yeah. right the after. same day. Yeah. And then it's like to go from like that's a progression, right? It's like the For Roxy sure. is like mm -hmm. a, a big venue, but it's also 400. You could fit like four Roxies inside the Novo. Mm -hmm. For sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. just talk about building your fan base and like how it feels to like, damn, like years later. Yeah, I'm here. It's, I mean, it's dope because I like I was telling him in the hallway, mm -hmm. I'm super unorthodox. You know yeah. what I mean? And like, I don't really I'm trying to break the mold yeah. and, you know, create my whole own little thing that people could follow. Yep. So, yeah, it, it's dope just seeing everything grow and seeing the hard work work and people just feeling it. You know what I mean? People vibing with me like that's that's super dope. man. I want to <laughs> talk to you about this born and raised um, video release that we saw. You yeah. know, we all lost Panto, born and raised yeah. from Venice and just what they did with that clothing brand. You have your own clothing brand and I know just being out here in LA, it's like real recognize real and you gotta just show love to the people that you see doing it. Yeah. Seeing Spanto and Born and Raised and everything that they were doing, I'm sure inspired you. For sure. Talk for to sure. me about being a part of that video and in the memory of someone like Spanto who passed away. I mean that was super dope. Like Spanto was like a like a good friend of mine. Like mm. Me and Sponto would holler for hours, but like we'd talk about street stuff, mm -hmm. like gang bangers, <laughs> who from this hood did yeah. what, <coughs> and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and um, the crazy thing, like my last text to him, yeah. where them shoes at, bro? I need them. <laughs> oh. You know what I mean? The SB, the Dunks, yeah. the Border Yeah, 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 yeah. Where Dang. them SBs at, bro? I need them. And um, just to be able, just to be invited and be a part of that was dope. Like and sponsoring them, I never let them pay me money or nothing yeah. for nothing. Mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna come through and do mm -hmm. it. So that was definitely an honor. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I appreciate Two Tone, his wife, yep. and everybody for yeah. inviting me. Always treat me like family. But yeah, that was that. That was another one, man. Like memories. I had to mention Sponto in that, man. Yep. That was a, that was a heavy one right there. You know what trips yeah. us out too? Like when we're talking <coughs> about those shoes, those dunks that they had. Just we had just celebrated him on Power mm -hmm. because he had given a bunch of those dunks to kids that were graduating high school, correct? At Venice, yes. At Venice yeah. and he wanted to get back in that way. Yeah. The laces? Yep. The laces say in loving <clears throat> memory. And yeah. it's like, that's just him having created that, having done the collab before he passed, and it's just a trip. The like the stuff that ends up being not so much coincidence. It yeah. feels yeah. like a sign almost, you know? Yeah, it's just like legendary, historic mm -hmm. thing like that you can't duplicate or no. replicate. Like You know what I mean? Can't yeah. make this up. Yeah. Sponto yeah. was definitely like a cold visionary. Yeah. And he had me tighten up a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Hey, yeah. G, I'm seeing We're this, like, G. We got to do this, G. It's yeah, got to be like sure. that. Yeah. With like blue t-shirt yeah. in particular? With blue t-shirt, with the music, mm. how I need to be looking. You know what I mean? Because uh. I'm like, I'm East Side Dusty. I'm going to come any <laughs> old, I'm gonna come any old <laughs> way. So, you know, he got me up on him and Two Tone, man. Come That's on. fire. Oh, yeah. You would go to the, the Sadie Hawkins, I would, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. That's fine. I missed the last one though. I think I was a had a show somewhere or something. But the one before that, I was up in there. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Moving and grooving. And the one that, yeah. Look, it's so tight to just know you from Los Angeles and to know you for your music. And it's cool to then like full circle. At least when I'm observing, like I feel like the mom of the crew, and I see everything that you've done with Maximo. Who is a pain in my chest? Like he's yeah, yeah, yeah. so he's annoying. Me. <laughs> me too. Yeah. No, but yes, but like to see that you guys are like like have yeah, that brotherhood. Yeah. Oh, man. The the black and brown brotherhood that I see, like it's similar to what I see with Jorge and Nipsey. You yeah, know, it's yeah. a beautiful thing that you guys can creatively collaborate, pry butt heads, and he is so stubborn, G Preco. Yeah. Uh, lying, bro. Yeah, yeah, but then difficult. still be able to like make stuff like your recent music video. Shout out, that's shout out, shout, shout out, out Maximo. Maximo. We call him Maximo, and you're like, who's that? You're like, I don't like that name. Maximo. <laughs> Remember, I sent you that message. Yeah, <laughs> he just sends me random like memos or just trolls. Like, if name? I call him, he's just instantly starts trolling me. Yeah, so I love like, it. Oh, I love it. Don't stop because we need that over here. He's big stuff over here. But Edgar is his real name. That's how you know him. Yeah. Edgar. How'd you guys Eddie. meet? Uh, for blue t-shirt, right? Yeah, he we, did we my first the... blue t-shirt. Like the mm. very first thing, I had two t-shirts. Yep. 
and probably like maybe a half a dozen in total, two different styles, uh-huh. half a dozen in total. And we was, I was in transition. That was 2019. I yeah. went broke. That Jeez. was when I was, yeah, mm-hmm. I was down. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and you were like, how am I going to get out of this? I yeah. think I want to start this merch line. This is a blue t-shirt. They're not really blue t-shirts, but any anything he puts <laughs> yeah. up yeah. is a blue t-shirt, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, facts. So it would be like, it, like right now he has an orange shirt, but it's a blue t-shirt, okay? Yeah. Yeah. He has Don't, a backpack a that's a red, and it's also a blue t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. high-end, oh, you know what I mean? It's a yeah. blue t-shirt, but it's a yeah. backpack. That's, yeah. exactly. I love it. Okay. You don't have to get some that's of these over here. And yeah. Maximo yeah, understood the vision, and he was like, I can help. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Maximo brought the idea, right? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I, I no you know, I, I've always been a fan, and then I've seen like what he represents in LA, the lifestyle, and like mm-hmm. he really, like he's not just rapping and talking. Like he's yeah. really yep. saying what he's doing. He's mm-hmm. really about the independent hustle, and I, I am as well. So yeah. Um, I just came on, and I was like, "Yo, bro, I could be an asset, and let's let's work." Wow. And yeah, that's dope. We did some work. Yeah, he has us call him M Perico, if you didn't know. M Perico, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see the Edgar cut that we did on him? So I'm gonna tell you right now, he's the a Edgar Clipper fan. I always have to like I- explain him to people that meet him. Like, I know he's a good guy. He yes, he likes the Clippers, but it's okay. He's a Clipper fan. Are you? No, I'm definitely not a Clipper. Laker fan. gang. Laker. Okay, so Vic is a Laker fan too, yep. if, well, like everybody else with the right mind. Just mm-hmm. kidding, you guys. Um, and they they <laughs> played kidding. against each other, Clippers versus Lakers. We bet on the game. Maximo, if he would have won, he would have made Vic's beard look like Riff Raff. You know, yeah, like that. Cut my beard. Funky. Make it look like Riff Raff. Mm-hmm. It would have been yeah. a zigzag. But he that. lost. Yeah. So then we had to that give him an Edgar loss, cut. Though. I that know. was a good loss for you. Right? Everyone, he, he, lost he lost, he won. Loss for you. Yeah. yeah. But that was a good loss for you because, yeah, you look fly, man. You and it's Shay. You look like you was about 16. <laughs> <laughs> you know he looked younger. Because yeah. yeah. that's saying. what the 16-year-olds are doing. Yeah. They're getting Edgar cuts. They're putting, like, the spray. Like, they did a whole thing on him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got him right. It's so weird having a hairline. You sweated it out, huh? Immediately, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> the black paint is, like, dripping, <laughs> dripping off his face. No, no, I took off my shirt. I was trying to keep it for one more day. And just it, to keep and trolling. your hairline and then, left on your shirt. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And I was like, it's over. Yeah. This lifestyle's done. Wifey also got upset because once he turned into an Edgar, he started asking for all the tias. Where are all the tias at? Where are the tias? Yes. Hey, I was just telling him, man, hide your tias. No. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him a uh, video I was dancing uh-huh. at, at the Quinceanera. Yes. Yeah, you're an incredible dancer. <laughs> yeah. busy. What quince were you at? Uh, one of my partners, uh, his daughter. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's you were hilarious. feeling the vibes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you got definitely. up and danced. We I had... grew up like right next door to mm-hmm. my house. They had parties Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> all night <laughs> long. <laughs> So, yeah, I start jumping the gate. And Come on. <laughs> get, get a plate of food. Yeah. Hope you took some For back. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's vibes. Because even when we did our live podcast at the Novo, you were up and you were dancing in the back with the grupo that we had. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. what's so special. And I love because this is Los Angeles black and brown mix like no other out here. Yeah. So to see that happen, it was just so vibes to me. And coming up November 17th, you're at the Novo again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can we go? Yeah. That would be tight. I need y'all there. Yeah. I need it's that lot. Yeah. It's lit. Let's get it. I need to get busy. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. it's 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 beautiful to see how you turn up and to see how the city comes behind you because as much work and music and I think sometimes you're unable to see the the measure of success but when you go outside and people are bumping you, people love you, they see you, they like they know G Perico as a staple yeah. of Los Angeles. When that happens, it's like that you can't even quantify. That yeah. can't even be put on a measure. That's not yeah. even can't be on Billboard. That's exactly. priceless. Yeah. yeah. So I'm so excited to even see the people show up for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's super dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I talk to me that. about it's how surreal. you how you curated the show because you got the homies coming through with you. Yeah. Oh talk yeah. 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 I got. Not um, alone. Like me and Rucci is like you know dynamic duo mm-hmm. we yeah. always slam dunk they like man try somebody i'm like man if it's not broke don't fix it yep. that's like right. bro bro mm-hmm. yeah. you know what i mean and um wally you know Jeez. what i mean we had to add wally you know yeah. and we gotta you know we got a couple surprise. more things coming ah! we got a surprise so we just not doing a show for nothing just mm-hmm. to do a show so yeah. right yeah it's a yeah, there's something on the way yeah Wow. That's fire. That's you dope. gotta go axs.com for your tickets. But is it cool if we give? Can we give a pair? 
Yeah, we could give yeah. some away for sure. I'll, I'll can we give um, Maxi the ones you were gonna give him and his brother? Can we give that yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Let's give <laughs> Max. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maxi, let's I, I also <laughs> just want to say, man, I I really love like you know I've seen G work work hard for years, and like this year I've seen him zip lining. And oh, traveling, like, yeah, enjoying yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been Man. living, a, I've been living on, a little. Talk to us about that. Because I usually just be locked in a house, mad scientist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've been getting out a little bit. You know what I mean? It'd be like house, hood. <laughs> um, <laughs> Recording. Yeah. That's it. Studio music yeah. videos. That's it. So, yeah, I stepped out stepped a little bit. Out. Well, I just recently got my passport back. Oh, so what's up? Yeah, That's so fire. any Me chance, too. any chance I get We're right going. now, let's I'm go, out. let's go, let's get go. this yeah. Yeah. Single for the summer. Single for the single. <laughs> Tell for me the about this decade. decade. No, I'm, I'm, look, <laughs> no. I'm looking at this. Single I'm looking at this decade, tweet, baby. <laughs> I'm looking at this tweet, G. And you what said, you said, just played single for the summer and realized I'm single for the winter too. I'm gonna yeah. probably be single for life. Honestly, it's impossible to have somebody in my position. Uh, well, yeah. whatever, yeah. 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 Uh, but Why yeah, are you that smiling was... when he says that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, you don't want to miss his preco? A tia can't hold you down, like, a tia full time? A could definitely <laughs> hold me <laughs> down. <laughs> you know what I mean? But can't hold me up, though. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, wow. So, yeah. See, I'm telling you, yeah. he talks in captions, you guys. Yeah. You can tweet that right now. A tia oh, can hold me up? Down. Well, hold, hold me down, but, hold me not, down, but not, not hold me up. Yeah, not hold me up, because it's a whole world out here. Yeah. To be explored. Oh That's a my bar. gosh, you <laughs> yeah. Look, Let's go. Make sure you go st stream the project right now. LA Summers 3. There's going to be an extended version on deck. LA Summers 3. And then Extended Summers, which is, it's not a, uh, what's the projects people do when they add three songs? Deluxe? Yeah. Deluxe? No, mm -hmm. it's not a deluxe. No. It's a whole new It's a whole new project. Come on. Extended okay. Summers. Okay. Yes, and then yeah. there's uh, there's something else in the works that's on the way. There's movies on the way. All it's of that. 2024 is getting set up right, and you just reminded me, me like. Me and is dropping a project too. Oh, oh currency. Oh. Yeah, that's almost that's almost done. Yeah. Damn. Jet oh, Blue. Legendary. Jet Blue. Finally Jet Blue. Here. Yeah. That's Whoa. genius. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's all on the way. That's what you can expect. But right now, if November 17th. Call Live in. at the Call Novo. Call get your ticket. Ruchi, Wally the Sensei, our guy, G Perico is putting it down. Let's go. It, yeah. Make sure you show up. Bring the Theas too. Don't hide them. Bring them. <laughs> <laughs>